good morning students today let us start our class with the lesson of winter night this is a poem and it is written by sara teasdale she was an american poetess and she was born on 8th august 1884 and died on 29th january 1933 in united states she has written many poems and i know the stars if i must go a little while etc are her important poems through this poem a winter night she gives us one message that as the bitter cold night creeping we should remember those without a roof over their head means we all have shelters home for living in but there are so many people who have no home to live in no food to eat no clothes to wear in this poem only three stanzas are there now let's go through the poem first stanza my window pane is starred with frost the world is bitter cold tonight the moon is cruel and the wind is like a two edged sword to smite here the poet explains the poetess window pane her window glass is starred with frost starred means covered or decorated with frost frost means a deposit of small white ice crystals formed on the ground or other surfaces when the temperature falls below freezing like you can see on this window on this screen okay here her window pane is decorated or covered with the ice crystals we can see it whenever there is extreme cold or severe cold during the winter season our poetess sara teasdale is inside her home but she can see the frost everywhere especially on her window panes she says that the world is bitter cold tonight means today night the weather is very cold extreme cold okay and the moon is cruel means the poetess can't see the moon because of the fog and it is also not shining well and it also increases the cooling and the wind is also there this night how it is blowing the wind is just like a two edged sword you all know what is the meaning of sword or both the edges of this sword are too sharp in this extreme cold night when the wind is blowing it feels like that it cuts our body parts this wind and cool moon increase the cold here smite means to hit hard or to strike now let's go through the next stanza god pity all the homeless ones the beggars pacing to and fro god pity all the poor tonight who walk the lamplit streets of snow in this second stanza our poet sara teasdale tells about the people those who have no hope the beggars walking up and down a small area several times backwards and forwards 
for what purpose for begging others for food clothes money etc she prays to the god to show a little pity on all of them because they have no hope in this winter what will they do so show a little pity upon them again she prays to the god to show pity on all the poor tonight because this night is very cold so show pity or the kindness on all the poor who walk the lamb lit streets of snow means the streets where the lamps are lighting she prays to the god to give little warmth from those lamps to these poor now let's go through the last stanza my room is like a bit of june warm and close cut and fold on fold but somewhere like a homeless child my heart is crying in the cold our poetess is safe she is inside her home she has all the facilities so she feels inside her home like the month of june you all know june is a hot month why she feels like this in this winter also she feels it is just like june why because she has all the facilities in her home on her windows she has folded curtains she can close the windows and draw curtains when she feels cold so she is perfectly okay then also in her heart she is crying why because she is always thinking about the poor who are homeless she is also a pitiful lady because she loves the poor she wishes they may also be blessed with home clothes and food she prays to the god to show pity on them also and to save them also students we all have everything but we don't think about others those who are poor we must help them by giving or by sharing whatever we have students love them care them and give them a helping hand okay hope you have understood this chapter well let's end this section here thank you